While West Maui is officially open, many residents of the area still have concerns that aren't being addressed. KTV 4s Robert Wong is in Kaunapali, where some of those displaced residents are still being temporarily sheltered. So, Robert, what is the latest there? Hi, Cynthia. Yeah, it's been two months since the wildfires. One month, though, since a state address from Governor Josh Green when he talked to business owners here in Maui about grants that were going to be coming in the size of ten to $20,000, depending upon the size of the business. He looked at that money at that point on that September 8th as a, a bridge to get business owners to this reopening on October 8th. Here we are on October 9th, and that money is still nowhere to be found. So... One of those business owners I talked to, Kayana Bailey, she's the co-owner of Maui on Metal. Think about that time over the last month. It was actually September 6th when Governor Green gave business owners a heads up about these grants ahead of his public announcement. Now, over the past few weeks, Bailey had found a potential temporary site for her gallery in Kihei if they had the grant. But because she doesn't have it and another daunting financial factor faced by many West Maui business owners, that site may just be chalked up to a lost opportunity. We could have potentially found a um, location and we could have um, resumed, that would have got us in the door and resumed selling to the Hanuakai and local resorts. But we honestly are still paying off um, the SBA loan from COVID. We're still recovering. Here's more examples of that artwork, along with Bailey's 11-year-old son, Blake. And Blake, as you can imagine, still having a difficult time adjusting to everything that's going on. And frankly, he's a kid who just wants to go home. So on top of the struggle and the recovery, there's still this added confusion about when this money is going to be coming and when they can expect it. And frankly, there are a lot of business owners on West Maui wondering if they're ever going to see that money really just compounding some of the frustration and difficulty that they're facing as they continue to try to recover from this disaster. Here in Ka'anapali, Robert Kwan, KITV4 Island News.